So I wanted to show you something about this lock that we're going to pick here in a door I've built for RVA Sec. Now it's got five pins, and I wanted to show you this last pin here sets pretty high, then the fourth pin sets low, third pin sets low, the second pin sets high, and then look at this. I don't even know if you can see that, but right here, the fifth pin, it sets almost at the neck of the key here, and that's incredibly high. In fact, higher than I would have expected it to set. And so this is an opportunity to, to learn a method that you can use when you have a scenario that a pin um, will set high and then the next pins are low. What you can do is you can accidentally overpick those middle pins and get really frustrated. So what I like to do is take a moderately sized, uh, a, kind of a longer hook than you'd expect uh, as opposed to a medium hook. And so I'm going to come in, let's make sure it's locked, all right, so it's not locked. Dead bolt it. So I'm going to take this longer hook. I'm going to put tension in mostly to pick locks in real life. You're going to be going counterclockwise. And I'm going to go all the way back to the last pin that we saw set high. And then we understand that the pins um, right in front of it, pins four and three, set really low. So I like to go to my medium hook right after setting that pin behind those pins that set high and what you'll do by accident when you have a, a pin um, that sets high is when you're trying to pick it you'll accidentally be over picking the, uh, the pins that set low in front of it and that can cause all sorts of chaos so that's kind of why I use a trick that I mentioned um, of using that deeper hook and then, oh, looks like we have a security pin here. I think it's the second pin. What I want you to notice too is that first pin, I had to push that way up high. And so now we're stuck on a security pin. It's the second pin. I'm going to ease up tension. I'm going to push on this pin that's stuck. Um, it looks like it's the second pin. Oh, I think I lost all of them in that. That's frustrating. So I'm going to repick all of these jobbers. Um, that was actually called a false set. So I'm going to reset all those pins. A false set is where you get stuck on a spool pin. Um, I'll describe that in a little bit more detail. So i got to pick it all over again. That's frustrating. Getting to a false set, at least you know what pin you need to work on. So here I go again. I take my deeper hook, go to the back. I set the last pin. And then I gently go in and make sure that sometimes those middle pins, you might just need to touch them. You may not even need to hardly do anything to, uh, to get those to set. So I jammed the, uh, oh, there we have it. And we picked the lock. The real takeaway there is that first pin set so much higher than I expected to. It was a struggle to pick the first time I picked it because um, when I set all the pins, I just didn't realize I had to push that other pin higher than you'd normally expect. And so when you're looking at the keyway, that's a good way to identify the fact that some pins may set, and if you have pins that set low and pins that set high, there's a good chance that while you're having trouble picking is you're oversetting the pins that set low because when you pick the pins that set high, the neck of your pick um, are oversetting those. So using a deeper hook or a defrost, or excuse me, a deforest diamond pick um, could be the answer there. I hope you learned something.